In this video, I'm going to teach you an easy fingerstyle version, solo version of Joy to the World. Let's do this. Hi, I'm Thomas Michaud, realguitarsuccess.com. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so I can get you more guitar lessons to help you build confidence, connect with others, and have fun. It can be a lot of fun to learn music for the holidays, and it's a great way to connect with others. Learning Christmas songs and playing for others can bring up fond memories of time with family and friends and warm feelings. Today, we're going to learn a fairly easy version of Joy to the World fingerstyle solo that I specifically created to be both simple but sound pretty good. And it's a good stepping stone to a more elaborate version that I've created. First, I'm going to play the entire song for you so you can get a chance to see what we're aiming at. Then I'm going to break it down to sections and I'll give you tips on each section on how to play it properly. Then finally, stay to the end because I'll give you a chance to download the notes and tabs to help you. Okay, let's break it down. We're going to start with the first section, which is the first four measures. And it sounds like this. You're going to make a G chord and make the G chord with your second, third, and pinky. We'll start with a pinch, the first string and the sixth string. Then use your first finger to play the second fret for the melody. Open, no bass note there. And then the pinky on the second string, bass note. And then on the upbeat, the first finger on the B string, the second string, open pinch with the bass note. Now switch your second and third fingers around to the second frets. I'm on the sixth string and the third strings. That's a pinch. And then back to the sixth string third fret with the third finger. And I'm going to play a open third string. Is that there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now that's the first section, four measures. But there's a pickup at the end of that measure right there to go into the next section. So I'm using my pinky on the second string, third fret. And here goes into the second section. Bass note. Now I'm on the D string and G again. That was the second section. Let's break that down. So we'll start with the pick up there on the first section, it goes into the C chord. I've got my bass note on the fifth string using my thumb and pinching. First string for the melody. Again, bass note. On the upbeat, the melody, again, the E, to the D chord. By the way, you don't really have to make the D because I'm, I'm really only using this note. But I make the D chord partly out of habit and partly because I do have a more advanced version where you're going to need more notes. So if you ever go to that, you'll already have the D form there. Melody, you're playing the melody on the high E string, second fret. Bass note again, and melody, and go to the G chord, pinky on the third fret, first string. And then there's a little, uh, really I only need the first finger. And again, it's a habit to go like that, even though I'm not hitting that string. So again, Bass note, and D chord, up, and G. And then there's a pickup again to the third section. And here we go into the third section. You can tell we're just going down the scale. And again, you don't actually have to make the whole G. I'm only using the bass note here. But it's a habit, and it's easier for me to just stick with making the G chord than to try to remember to take my second finger off. It's just not necessary. So I'm going down the scale. That's the melody. And I'm holding the bass note with my third finger, using my pinky, second finger, and pinky, and first finger. Here we go. Pinch. Melody. Pinch. Melody, second string, third fret, and op uh, upbeat there, and then down, pinch, open, second string. 
again. So that phrase just repeats twice, and that's the end of the third section. Now into the fourth section, there's a pickup, open B string. And I double the speed of the bass notes here. So they're twice as fast. To that same switching the fingers around, that's actually a form of D chord. And then into the fourth, fifth section, final section. So let's do that part again. That's all on the second string, the melody, and I'm just holding the G bass note down. Bass note, bass note. Now, into the switching around the D chord, we'll call it. Open B, second string, first finger, C, open to the third string, G. And into the fifth section, here's the fifth section. Switch around and end it. Okay. Start with the third string here. Pinky on the third fret, first string. Open, second string, third fret. Bass note, going down first string finger. Open, switch them around to that second fret. Third finger on the second fret, third string, and then back, <laughs> third string. Switch them, and back, and on the fourth string there. A good way to learn this piece is to practice each of the sections separately, and then try adding one section to another, and then practice the two together. Then add the third section and practice those, and keep doing that till you get through the whole song. I also recommend that once you play the song all the way through, you go back and play the beginning again, and go all the way up until that end of that first part, the end of the eighth measure. Now I put a little symbol at the beginning of the eighth measure, a fermata it's called, to let you know where you would stop if you're playing the first part again, the second time around. Thanks for hanging out with me through this video lesson. Hey, did you find this particularly difficult? Or maybe it was too easy for you. Let me know. Leave me a comment below. I look forward to hearing from you. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.